I've just received this incredible picture. You know, one of those days when you are looking, uh, you know, just sightseeing, looking at the sun, looking at the, you know, like, like I don't know, the landscape, and you just feel that there's something looking back at you, you know. And I think this is the feeling that Melissa, thank you very much, Melissa, she just uh, sent us uh, actually five pictures, you know. She sent us one picture, uh, this picture you're seeing right now, of two suns, you know, what seems to be two suns setting. And then I asked her to take more pictures of the surroundings just to check it out to see if it could be a mirage or a, for example, a uh, false double sunset, which is a mirage that is caused. I'm going to show you now a number of false sunsets, okay, of, of, of double sunsets. It's actually an effect that the sun has on our atmosphere and it doubles it, you know, it makes like a, a clones, it clones itself. It, uh, it's, it's seeming to be like, it looks to be like two suns setting, but it's the exact same size. You know, on this case here, we don't have to see, we, we can actually see that there is one bigger sun and a smaller sun, you know, so yes, for me, to me, so yes, to me, this sounds like Nibiru or Planet X, you know, whatever. I'm going to show you a couple of pictures that of uh, double sunsets around the world that are not Nibiru for you to check out and you to understand the difference. Now, there is one specific that is uh, that shows this reflection, this blue reflection. Well, to me, that's blue Kachina or Nibiru, Planet X, whatever. Uh, I'm pretty sure that that's not a mirage, you know what I mean? There is a very, very easy way to, to know when it's a mirage, you know. One of the things is that usually it's, it, the sun clones itself in, in our atmosphere somehow or divides itself into two. That's called a sun dog when you see the sun and then you see a circle around it with two other little mini, mini suns next to it. That's what I asked Melissa to send me. More pictures of the surroundings so I could check it's not a sun dog. I'm going to show you right now the surroundings. She was in her car. I'm, I'm going to ask you to bear with us here because it was moving. So she took some more pictures while it was moving and you can clearly see it's not a sun dog. So either we have a mirage here, a double sunset mirage, which, which would be likely difficult because uh, it's not the same size. You can see clearly that in the sub double sunset mirage, you can clearly see that the sun clones itself through a effect on our atmosphere and then you have two exact alike, you know, two suns that look alike. Now in this case we have obviously a smaller object that's shining through the clouds. It does seem to be a second object. Now there are many people talking about chemtrails and how, how many chemtrails around been going around and how, and how many times they are chemtrailing per day. That is gone, that's gone way high, you know, way up, you know. People are saying that they are chemtrail all over all the time, you know, like they're chemtrailing the horizon, they're chemtrailing all the time so you cannot see the sunset. So the, there are a couple of people that they are, you know, speculating that there's something wrong with the sunset and maybe we could be seeing something in the sunset, you know. But anyway, thank you very much, Melissa, for sending us this picture. We are very proud of you because we do believe that this is something you got here, okay? And well, anyway, just share, subscribe. This. If you have a picture of a, or a video by any chance of Blue Kachina, Nibiru, Planet X, any other object, weird object that we are in this transitory phase, please do send us a, 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 a message, email, anything, okay? Thank you very much. Uh, see you again.
Hey guys, this is James LaFleur with the Impossible Channel. I've just received this incredible picture. You know one of those days when you were looking, uh, you know, just sightseeing, looking at the sun, looking at, the, you know, like, like, I don't know, the landscape, and you just feel that there's something looking back at you, you know? And I think this is the feeling that Melissa, thank you very much, Melissa, she just uh, sent us uh, actually five pictures, you know? She sent us one picture, uh, this picture you're seeing right now, of two suns, you know, what seems to be two suns setting. And then I asked her to take more pictures of the surroundings just to check it out to see if it could be a mirage or a, for example, a uh, false double sunset, which is a mirage that is caused. I'm going to show you now a number of false sunsets. Okay. Uh